Hey guys, I'm Eintje and I finally hit the limits of my hardtail, or better said, the limits of my body. For this video I went to Witten, twice. Both days the riding was great. Well, until it wasn't. Let's roll the intro and see what happened. I'll start the video with the last run, Little Champery. This one is always a blast to end with. By then I'm familiar with the circumstances of the day, fully into the flow. Same this time, but then we came to this new build drop. I'm not an idiot, or at least I think so, and did check it out first. About a meter high into a pretty flat landing. Nothing that concerns me, to be honest. The scariest part was getting onto the drop itself, so I went for it. Looks fine, right? Nee. Oh, fuck. Well, the reason I didn't continue was because I strained a muscle in my leg upon landing, dropping my heel down too aggressively. I know, a bit of an anticlimax. No big crash or anything, but let me tell you, it did hurt like hell when I tried to stretch my calf. And I still had to get down. Due to how the cranks are connected, not putting any pressure on one leg didn't work. Thankfully the adrenaline wasn't worked out yet, so I could ride down myself, be it a bit painful. And before you tell me, I know, this would 100% not have happened on a full suspension bike, I'm sure of that. However, this doesn't mean I'm done riding my hardtail. The rest of the days the bike was just too much fun. The first run or two of a day aren't that much fun. I really need some time to get into the flow. This trail will showcase that pretty good. We rode this one twice on one day, as our first and our last run. The difference is obvious. One way I really like to get into the right mindset is by sessioning a couple of jumps in the bike park. Unfortunately, it was closed this time. We did have a quick look though, and they really put in some work. They added some jumps and upgraded others. I'm sure to go check it out once it opens. Now, let's address a trail that's new. At least new to me. It's not on Trail Fox, so I can't really tell you how to find it. Only that's my favorite trail in Witten right now. It has a couple of jumps, drops and some nice rolling turns, but most of all, it just has flow. You don't need much speed for the jumps, you can roll most of them, and if you manual of them, you're fine. However, if you really commit, the landings are so much better, so much more flow. In order to get that flow, we went for a second run. With the stoke of the bottom part still in our minds, the top part was a bit of a bummer, the turns just don't work as good, and there is even a short uphill. However, once you get to the lower part, the fun starts. At the end there's this thumb jump, something that definitely needs a session before I commit to it. This day we didn't take the time to session, so I just went past it. During our next visit we did take the time. The first yeah. tricky thing is you have to jump in a slight angle. Not difficult, just something you have to be aware of. Next are the turns in the run-up. These might be the best sequence of turns in a vacuum. However, when you try to get as much speed as possible out of them, they are all of a sudden a lot harder. During our first try, we realized the jump was closer to the turns than we thought. Let's try again. And then a mini terrain. With that jump in the back, it was possible to connect the whole line. Enjoy.
with all these jumps to pretty flat, you might start to understand why I wasn't concerned about the drop that got me. And this wasn't even all the jumping we've done that day. Those of you familiar with the trails in Witten know there are a couple of road gaps. First one being on this trail. It felt good, but now looking at the footage, I have to admit it was, in my case, a bit of a case. The second road gap can be found here. I've covered this one before and done it so many times by now. Still, this one went pretty bad. I should remember to land a bit more to the right. That makes the corner so much less awkward. A little further down the trail there's this promising jump. Now all it needs is a landing. So yeah, I think I have enough experience in absorbing impacts. Nonetheless, something went terribly wrong in the next run. Although it was painful and I could barely walk for a few days, I think this one isn't a long lasting injury. With a lot of physiotherapy, I'll be back on the bike in no time. Let's show one more full run while I'll end the video. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see and want to support me, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or even leave a comment. I hope to see you back for my next video. In the meantime, have fun riding. Howdy!